Hello students, welcome to Tutti Tutti. So we have question paper discussion for yesterday's exam, AWE, Assistant Executive Engineer under TSPSC. Okay, so electrical question paper we are explaining here. First we will see the subject of electrical circuits. Okay, so total we have 15 questions from electric circuits. So we will discuss about electric circuits first. Then in next video we will be releasing other subjects also. Okay, so like this all the subject question paper discussion we will be doing in these videos. Okay, first question. The output of the circuit is taken across the resistance. The bandwidth of the circuit shown is. Okay. So directly this is the question. Okay. So simple question it is. So we have to remember. Okay. So the bandwidth formula directly we can give as. Okay. So resistance divided by inductance for any series RLC circuit. Okay. So for any series RLC circuit we have to give. So the bandwidth is equals to R by L. Okay. So resistance value they have given as 100 ohms. 100 ohms divided by inductance value is 0 0.1 Henry. Okay, so directly we got 1000 radians. Okay, so 1000 radians means 1 kilo radians. Okay, so otherwise the bandwidth of the, we can give like this. How this formula also came? Okay, so bandwidth is nothing but the resonating frequency divided by the Q factor. Okay, so if you solve this one, Q factor is nothing but omega L by R. This is omega already. Omega omega will be cancelled. Again, you will get this equation only. Okay, so this is valid for series RLC circuit. Okay, answer for this question is option 2. So next one. The resonance frequency omega naught for the circuit shown below is, okay, so already for any series circuit, okay, so any series RLC circuit, R, okay, series RLC circuit, R, parallel RLC circuit, okay, so whenever RLC circuit is there, series RLC or parallel RLC, directly we can give, okay, option for this one is omega naught or resonating frequency is nothing but 1 by root LC, okay, so that much of heads it is, okay. So next, a parallel plate capacitor is made with three dielectric dielectricities, okay, so dielectrics placed between two metal electrodes okay so the thickness of material 1 material 2 and material 3 is d1 d2 d3 respectively the dielectric constant for material 1 material 2 and material 3 is epsilon 1 epsilon 2 and epsilon 3 respectively the capacitance per unit area of this system is given by okay so capacitance per unit area they are asking okay see here these all capacitances having three layers. What is this three layers means? Three different material cities, okay? Dielectric material is different from, okay? So this one, material one, material two and material three, okay? So how we have to consider between these two plates, we need to find out the capacitance. So instead of, if we have parallel plate capacitance, which is having a single dielectric material like this, how we can give the capacitance for this one? So this is epsilon A divided by D. If we have only one, but here we have three different materials. So how we need to consider this one? We need to consider as three different capacitances. So from this point, if this point is A and this point is B, so from A to B, three different capacitances we have to consider. And how they have connected? So this is the first material under this first material okay so like next one is second material third one this one okay so this is c1 this is c2 and this is c3 okay so and if you observe all three are connected in series here okay so what we have to do capacitance of first one epsilon 1 a1 divided by d1 like that we have to write down but you see what they have mentioned the thickness of the material one material two and material three is d1 d2 d3 respectively and the dielectrics also they have mentioned but area okay so as per the plate capacitor okay uh, so area they have not mentioned anything okay so area they have not mentioned anything so what we have to consider based on how they have mentioned it is a parallel plate capacitor made with three dielectrics placed between two metal electrodes between two metal electrodes they have given so it will be same area how much is electrode area is there same area we have to consider for each and every parallel plate okay so here whatever even though if any extra plate is also there that will be same area we have to consider okay so area one area two area three will be same so i'm using only directly area okay 
epsilon 1 a by d1 second one epsilon 2 a by d2 third one epsilon 3 a by d3 okay so this is the three capacitances now what they were, they were asking the capacitance per unit area of the system is given by okay so they are asking about capacitance per unit area okay first we will calculate the capacitance all three are connected in parallel so c equivalent or 1 by c equivalent we can give as 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 okay so if you just give this one so 1 by c equivalent is equals to 1 by c1 okay so 1 by c1 so directly i am writing as d1 divided by epsilon 1a next one d2 divided by epsilon 2a plus d3 divided by epsilon 3a okay so this is the capacitance okay and if you observe a is common in all the three in the denominator so i will take the common and send to this side okay it will come as a divided by c equivalent is equals to d1 by epsilon 1 plus d2 by epsilon epsilon 2 plus d3 by epsilon 3 what they were asking capacitance per unit area we have unit area of capacitance divided by unit area divided by capacitance we have so we need to so reverse this one so if i reverse this okay c equivalent divided by area is nothing but we have to inverse this one okay so this is the answer c equivalent per unit area capacitance per unit area is nothing but d1 by epsilon 1 plus d2 by epsilon 2 plus d3 by epsilon 3 whole power minus 1 that is inverse okay so answer for this question is option 2 okay so next question what would be the value of capacitance so that the resonance frequency of the circuit below is 314.16 radians per second okay so what they have given here resonant frequency they have mentioned okay so omega they have mentioned already they were asking about one element okay so element value they are asking okay if it is directly parallel parallel circuit rlc parallel circuit or series rlc circuit directly we can give the formula 1 by root lc okay but there is certain elements in series here that's why we have to do it manually okay so i will tell you how to calculate we need to calculate z equivalent or y equivalent okay so z equivalent for example z equivalent how you have to calculate so 1 in series with 0 0.1 j omega okay so j omega l okay so uh, similarly for the capacitance also what is the impedance so minus j by omega c okay so like that we have to consider all these impedances so if you are writing impedance you have to write down all the impedances how to calculate parallel connection then whatever you get imaginary part okay so imaginary part if you make equal to 0 then you will be getting the so cap, omega already they have mentioned if you substitute you will get the value of c may not be doing in this way but you can calculate as it is a parallel circuit as it is a parallel circuit so you have to calculate using y equivalent it will be simple okay so first admittance of this one plus admittance of this one plus admittance of this one if you calculate you will get the equation from that equation okay you can be calculating the so omega okay so in omega we have already omega value but c value only we have to get we have already did the calculation you will be get, you will be getting the answer c equal to 0 0.1 millifarads okay so this approximately this is the answer we will get okay so generally 0 0.15 millifarads you will be getting so this is approximate answer only okay so and you just solve this one okay so this model of questions generally they will give to waste our time in the exam okay so especially in ae exam upcoming ae exam or polytechnic lecture exam okay this model of questions definitely they will give so we can do this this model of questions but it will waste some of our time okay that's why if possible you just skip this question and solve at the end okay next question Consider the circuit shown below with DC supply Vs equal to 5 volt. The series resistance of 5 ohm is connected as shown. Maximum power dissipated in RL is. They are asking. So maximum power dissipated in this one. RS value is equal to 5 ohms. Vs is nothing but 5 volt. So definitely this is also 5 ohms. Because for maximum power transfer, load resistance must be equal to source resistance okay so maximum power directly we can use the formula okay so v square 
source square okay source means how we can do directly v square if only internal resistance and load resistance are there directly vth square divided by rth 4 rth that is nothing but p max okay so vth square is nothing but 5 square is 25 divided by rth is 5 thevenant's equivalent is nothing but this one only okay so into 4 okay so this is the one okay so if you solve this one you will get 5 by 4 which is nothing but 1.25 watts okay so this is the maximum power transfer to this one during maximum power transfer 50 percent of the power will be wasted that means in this internal resistance how much power is dissipated means 1.25 watts only okay so they have asked only this one so if they may ask okay so in the next exams they may ask what is the power dissipation in this one also okay like that and the percentage is 50 percent of the power only will be transferred from input to output side okay next question dc voltage of 54.6 volt is applied across an electric bulb which draws 3.76 amperes current what is the power consumed by the bulb okay so no need of any explanation 54.6 into current 3.76 we have to read the question that's it okay so 54.6 into 3.76 almost four times it is approximately this one is the answer okay what is the thevenant's equivalent resistance of the network shown below okay so directly in our classes we have already discussed whenever you get the bridge network okay so immediately within seconds you can answer okay so this is the bridge so whenever you see okay so five resistances and observe okay so between two terminals source is connected between the other two terminals some load is connected or resistance is connected or any short circuit is present okay so we have to observe only this one that means we have five resistances which are connected in between two between two nodes source is connected between the other two nodes other element is connected like that okay so then you need to observe okay so whether it is a balanced bridge or unbalanced bridge so what is what we have to do balance or unbalance so you need to check 10 into 10 is equals to 10 into 10 so definitely it is balanced bridge okay so a cross, cross elements okay we need we need to check okay so whenever you confirm it is balanced bridge what is the current going inside that is equals to 0 amperes whenever so see how current will flow whenever you connect some source here then only current flow will be there okay so even though there is no source we have to consider okay if any source source connected here there will not be any current flowing inside okay like that so whenever no current is flowing it will be so acting as open circuit okay no current flow open circuit okay so 10 in series with 10 20 10 in series with 10 20 20 in parallel with 20 answer 10 so directly we can answer okay so see our student what he has did okay we can do like this also only in class okay so while practicing you try like this okay so convert this star network into delta network check the answer okay so you will get the same and similarly so this delta also okay so these three resistances can form delta convert the delta into star connection and check same in that in that case also you will get the same okay so but no need to test all so we have bridge network technology right okay so directly we can answer this okay so only in classroom you have to test words okay so don't try in the examination okay next one which of the following okay so which of the following transformation between impedance and hybrid parameters is correct okay so whenever two parameters relations they are asking see here impedance parameters are there H parameters are there. So what they are asking? They are asking about the relation between those two. Okay. So what we need to write down? We need Z parameters. That means should have something in mind. Z parameters means V1 is equals to V2 equals to I1, I2, I1, I2. Okay. So like this, we will be getting Z parameter equations. Okay. So Z21 and Z22 these are z parameter equations so h parameters these equations instead of z11 we need something in h parameters so let's write down h parameters what is the shortcut we have discussed already in class for the shortcut okay so h parameter shortcut v1 
I1 V2 I2. If you write like this, V1 is equals to I2 is equals to then I1 follows here, V2 follows here, plus and plus H11, H12, H21. H22. Okay. So these are the H parameter equations. These are okay. So what we need? We need V2 equal to equation and V1 equal to equation in terms of I1 and I2. So what is Z parameter equation means? If any equation is like this, V1 is equals to something into I1 plus something into I2. That is nothing but Z parameter first equation. Okay. So next one, V2 is equals to something into something into okay so i1 plus something into i2 this is z parameter equation okay so like this second equation we have to ask you okay so from here directly we can see one thing v2 is there i1 is there i2 is there in this equation so what we can do we can transform this one equation only right so i will write down as v2 is equals to i2 minus h21 i1 divided by h22 i can just remodel like this this equation so directly we got okay so one equation so what is that equation v2 equal to first i will write down i1 term okay so minus h21 by h22 into i1 plus i2 what is i2 so 1 divided by h22 into i2 this is the one equation okay see here this is z parameter equation and h parameter this is z parameter second equation because v2 equal to something into i1 plus something into i2 v2 equal to something what is that something z21 z21 value is nothing but h21 minus h21 divided by h22 you can check the answers okay see minus h21 divided by h22 minus h21 divided by h22 minus h21 divided by h22 so and another one okay so this is z22 z22 value z22 value okay so and z22 this option already eliminated this option also now eliminated okay so only these two are correct now we need z11 and z12 so to complete the solution okay so to get that so this v2 I will substitute in this one okay so v2 so we can substitute in the first equation but v2 we don't have so what we need to do so i2 we have to substitute okay so i2 we have to substitute somehow we have to get the equation in terms of okay we have to get the equation in terms of v1 equal to i1 and i2 terms okay so like that so what we can do so this equation we have already so second first equation of h parameters v1 is equals to h11 i1 plus okay so this is what only we need right v1 equal to something into i1 plus something into v2 is there instead of v2 i will substitute this one see this equation i am writing v1 is equals to h11 i1 plus h12 into so this is the v2 term okay so i will substitute this v2 here okay so then minus h21 divided by h22 into i1 plus h12 into okay so h12 into divided by h22 okay so into i2 this is the another equation okay so these are the two equations already this is second equation this is the first equation you see v1 is equals to okay v1 is equals to something into i1 okay so see what is that something i1 is here i1 is here if you take common like this this is h12 h22 minus h12 h21 divided by h22 this is z11 value this is z11 value and z22 value is z12 value is nothing but h12 divided by h22 h12 divided by h22 okay so this is the answer okay so if you have remember this one already then within seconds you can get otherwise to solve like this also it will take only one minute okay for explanation i have given all for solving in the examination we need only one minute to solve this okay next one initially the switch is closed the study state has been reached at t equal to zero the switch is opened what is the voltage across the capacitor at t equal to zero plus okay so initially this switch is closed this switch is closed now at t equal to 0 okay so they have opened the switch they have opened the switch at that time what is the 
voltage across this resistor they are asking okay so what is the voltage across capacitor okay so capacitor voltage means this one only so that is nothing but resistance voltage also okay so whenever switch is closed what is the circuit this is r and switch is closed means this source is directly connecting to the circuit and this is 4r and here we will be having 5r and capacitor is there okay so under steady state previously that is closed right from long time it is at closer position only so whenever whenever steady state reached okay so under steady state condition inductor acts as short circuit capacitor acts as open circuit okay so as in our classes we have discussed in deep about all these transients but now it is simple question okay so here it is open circuit okay open circuit now just voltage due. before switch operation that means t equal to 0 minus it is okay t equal to 0 minus at steady state it is okay so directly so what is the voltage across this one means 60 volts what is the voltage from here to here 60 volts from here to here okay from here to here is 60 volts so total 6 r is there in 1 r 10 volts will come in 5 r 50 volts will come okay so this is before switch operation so whenever switch is closed whenever switch is closed at that time we got this one now suddenly what they have did they have opened but to satisfy the continuity whatever voltage is there before okay so whatever voltage is there before t equal to 0 minus same voltage will be there at t equal to 0 plus also directly we can solve no need to check also okay so even though if any if switch is open also to satisfy that there will be some voltage source of 50 volts will be coming here okay so anyhow the voltage across the capacitor it will be as 50 volts okay that is the answer for this one okay that is the answer next question in the circuit below the power dissipated in the in the rl e as rl as a function of rl is schematically represented by which of the graph okay so they are asking about so the schematic representation of power dissipated in rl as a function of rl okay so power dissipated in rl okay so pl load resistance okay so what is the power dissipation dissipation in this is equals to function of rl okay so this is what they are asking and you see okay so on the x axis we have load resistance on the y axis we have power dissipated in the load okay so power dissipation in the load this is only they are asking okay so for this we need to take some examples okay so like some values we will take from the values we will be explaining this one okay so for our convenience okay i will take vs is equals to 10 volts just for convenience okay so and for rs we will be taking 1 ohm okay so rs we will be taking 1 ohm okay otherwise let's take even more simple okay so 10 ohms we will be taking and rl value we will be varying okay rl value will vary that means from the zero value to the higher values we will be slowly increasing and we will get the graph okay so for example now rl is equals to zero case one it is okay so what is the general formula formula for this one what is the power power in this one power p load is equals to okay so voltage across this one into current current of that one we can do otherwise otherwise what we can do v square divided by okay v square divided by rth okay so that is the general formula so which can be used in the so maximum power transfer theorem okay so v square by 4 rth okay v square by 4 rth that is general general superposition theorem uh, maximum power transfer theorem formula it is okay so otherwise otherwise see what we can do so the voltage into current we can solve otherwise i square into r we can do okay so what is the current i in this one is equals to okay so vs divided by rs plus rl into resistance is r okay so this is square v square i square into r that is nothing but power p load is nothing but i square into r l it is okay so this is the power dissipation okay so now let's substitute the values here okay so v is nothing but 10 okay so every 100 square divided by 
so rs is nothing but 10 ohms we have given so this is also 100 into rl value is 0 okay so square everything is 0 so power is equals to 0 okay when r equal to 0 pl equal to 0 it is okay so that means whenever resistance equal to 0 load power okay so power dissipation in the load is, is also equal to 0 from this we can eliminate some of the options okay see this is uh, starting at somewhere okay so at the maximum it is starting we eliminate okay so this is also we can eliminate okay so but uh, remaining two options uh, we need to test okay so it is starting at 0 it is starting at uh, some other option okay so but you observe one thing you observe one thing here linear linearity is there almost okay so linearity so here i square function is there i square function from this directly we can tell this is not the answer so directly we can get so this is the answer for this but for the convenience okay so we will be solving with two or three extra values okay then we will get the answer properly next i will take rl equal to 5 ohms okay 5 ohms so what is the power you will be getting so v square 100 square uh, 10 square okay so pl we will be calculating as 100 divided by rs equal to 10 10 plus 5 is nothing but 15 15 square is nothing but okay so 2 15 square 225 okay so 15 square is nothing but 225 okay into rl into rl is nothing but 5 okay so if you solve this one so you will be getting okay uh, what is the answer for this uh, fifth let's calculate okay so five ones five fours and fifteen five threes okay so five threes no five fives okay forty five forty five into five is nothing but uh, two twenty five okay so forty five hundred divided by forty five so we got something value like approximately two point one five like that okay so two point one or 2.1 or little bit higher okay 2.2 watts we got okay so next whenever you take 10 ohms okay so let's take the third case rl is equals to 10 ohms what you will be getting power okay so pl equal to 100 divided by 20 in the denominator so you will get 400 into 10 okay so 10 10 will be cancelled so this one this one will be cancelled 10 divided by 4 okay so 10 divided by 4 is nothing but 2. Point 25 okay so little bit higher we got okay whenever we got that means there is very less change okay so there is very less change in the magnitude for the small change in the before okay so before this value of 10 ohms why this 10 ohms is special because rs equal to 10 ohms means rl is also 10 ohms and this is nothing but maximum power okay so this is nothing but maximum power okay even though if you can calculate okay so v is nothing but we have taken we can we have taken 10 okay so v square divided by 4 rth rth is 400 okay so rth is 10 okay so we will be getting 100 divided by 40 okay so this is 10 100 divided by 40 means again you will be getting this one only okay so this is the maximum power so now we need to test another case okay so which is greater than which is greater than rl equal to 10 okay so let's take let's take rl is equals to okay so some easy value we have to take okay so 15 we will take okay so 15 so pl value power dissipation okay so v square is 100 divided by okay so rs plus rl okay so 10 plus 15 is nothing but 25 625 into 15 okay so 15 rl is 15 value okay so let's consider what is this one okay so this is 15 okay so here how many times you will be cancelling this one 15 fives okay so 15 15 fours is 15 fours is nothing but 60 and 25 we have so 15 ones then you will be getting 100 so 41 point something you will be getting okay so this is the 400 divided by 41 point something okay so that means let's compare to this one 100 divided by 40 here 100 divided by 41 here okay so little bit decreased okay so again decreased so how it will be graph generally from the zero if you take 
if it is zero when rl rl value is zero the pl value is also zero but it will be increasing up to max this is the p max then it will be decreasing okay so let's take very higher value let's take very high value okay so for example this is 1000 rl value is 1000 then automatically pl value will be very less like that okay so this this type of graph we have to get but in in the exam also okay so this is not the perfect graph they have given so they need to give like this generally okay so if, if you take the more we have taken only 5 ohms 0 ohms and 10 ohms if you take all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like that you will get smooth graph like this okay so anyway answer for this question is option 2 this is the correct answer okay next question which of the following represents an expression for the damping factor in a series rlc circuit okay so directly zeta value they are asking so zeta value is nothing but r by 2 into root c by l okay so we can solve using this equation okay so s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega square omega n square equal to in control systems also we might have seen this one okay so anyway in that session so we will be seeing this uh, this answer so anyway directly from this one so let's ca first calculate omega n already omega n for series rlc it is 1 by root lc okay so then if you calculate zeta you will be getting so this one okay so r by 2 into root c by l that will be the answer for this one okay a two port network has the following impedance parameters all in ohms okay so they have given this is the two port network parameters the input is connected to a sinusoidal voltage source vs having 50 ohms of series resistance a 1k ohms okay so load resistance is connected calculate the voltage gain of the network voltage gain is nothing but output to the input voltage ratio okay so that is voltage gain so they have mentioned a two port network which is impedance they have impedance parameters they have already given and at the output side they mentioned 1k 1, 1 kilo ohms of resistance or 1000 ohms of resistance is connected okay and the output voltage is this one this is v2 plus and minus okay similar to that a source is also connected at the input is connected to a sinusoidal voltage source vs okay so input side a source of Vs is connected see in series with some resistance of 50 ohms right okay so 50 ohms series resistance is connected like this okay so input side voltage is V1 okay so they are asking the ratio of V2 to the V1 that's it so generally this is two port network right so directly we can give the equations V1 and V2 impedance parameter equations okay so z parameter equations these are okay so from this one 10 square okay so 10 square means 100 i1 plus i2 10 square means 100 okay 100 i1 plus i2 so next v2 is equals to okay so minus 10 power 5 okay i1 plus 10 cube i2 so this is v2 and this is v1 what we have to do v2 divided by v1 we have to do but you see one one equation is in i1 and i2 another is also in i1 and i2 so directly we cannot do division we will not get the value so what we have to do so if only i1 is there for example i1 i1 will get cancelled and remaining ratio we can give if only i2 is there then also we can divide like that and give the value so but here both i1 and i2 i2 are there so what we need to do we have to express the relation between i1 and i2 by using other parameters okay by using the given data we need to find the relation okay so from i1 to i2 for that you observe one thing what is i1 always goes inside this is i1 okay so and this is i2 okay so this is i1 current this is i2 current what we can get directly you see 
So whatever be the current going like this, that is nothing but I2. I2 into 1000 is nothing but V2. But you observe, okay, so terminals of V2 are plus and minus here. For this one, wherever current enters, that is plus, wherever current leaves, that is minus. So from this one, we can give voltage V2 equal to minus I2 into 1000. Okay, so from this, from this, we can get directly V2 equal to minus I2 into 1000, like that we can give. So that means V2, in place of V2, we can substitute this one. In place of V2, we can substitute this one as minus 1000 I2 is equals to minus 10 power 5 I1 plus this is 1000 I2. Okay, so 1000 I2. From these two expressions, we can get the relation from I1 to I2. Okay, so this is 1000 and this is 1000. If it comes this side, it is minus 2000 I2 is equals to minus 10 power 5 I1. Okay, so that means minus minus get cancels. Okay, so next uh, this is 10 power 5. Okay, so three zeros uh, and remaining only two zeros will be there. So if you cancel this one, you will get a 10 square. Okay, so I2 is equals to what we will get relation I2 equals to so 100 10 square means 100 100 divided by 2 is 50 I1. So relationship between I1 and I2 is I2 is equals to 50 I1. Okay, so now what we need V2 divided by V1 we need V2 is nothing but minus 10 power 5 i1 plus in place of i2 i will substitute in place of i2 i will substitute 50 i1 okay so numerator is nothing but minus 10 power 5 i1 plus 10 cube 10 cube into i2 in place of i2 50 i1 okay so 10 cube means 50 into 10 cube i1 we will get okay so divided by so 100 i1 plus i2 100 i1 100 i1 plus i2 is nothing but 50 i1 okay so if you solve this one okay so let's solve so total it is 10 minus 10 power 5 it is so minus 10 power 5 means so that is 10 square thousand it is okay so anyway 50 into 10 cube is nothing but so we will get as minus value only okay so this is we can write down 100 into 10 cube so this is minus 100 into 10 cube plus 50 into 10 cube i1 okay so what we will get so we will get the remaining okay minus minus 50 uh, t into 10 power 3 okay so that's what we will get in the numerator so this is 150 i1 okay so this is i'm just writing here so minus 50 into 10 cube i1 divided by 150 i1 okay so i1 i1 gets cancelled and 51s and 53s so this is minus 1000 divided by 3 10 cube is 1000 divided by 3 minus 1000 divided by 3 okay so gain voltage gain is nothing but minus 1000 divided by 3 like this okay and the next question is Consider a series RL circuit shown below. So this is the series RL circuit they have given. U e of t and U e of t minus 0 are unit step function. The current flowing through the resistance R at a time t greater than 0 is given by. I of t, V by R, E power, something the options they have given. Let's see how we can solve this one. Okay. So we can solve this, this one using superposition theorem. Okay. So first I will consider only one source. First source I will consider, second I will consider another source, okay. So let's see, if only first source is there, this is first source, this is second source. From the options also we can get, okay, that is simple only. So let's solve using a superposition theorem, okay. So if only one source is there like this, okay, so this is the source V0 of U of T. Okay, so this is L and this is R. Okay, so this is L. What they are they are asking uh, current through the resistance. Okay, so current. Uh, so let's do Laplace transform. We can do Laplace transform. Okay, so this is uh, L into S. Uh, we will get. Okay, so anyhow, we need to inverse Laplace later. Okay, so answer for this uh, current. What you will be getting? Uh, 
i of t is equals to okay so anyhow voltage value you will get uh, current value magnitude you will get as v by r minus okay so this is rl circuit right minus t by 2 okay so minus t by time constant what is the time constant of rl circuit rl circuit l by r okay so l divided by r l value is nothing but they have given l only by r so in finally r will go on to the numerator okay so this is l and this is r okay so this is answer for this only first one okay if only first one is there this is the answer this is positive value only okay so you see in options what you will be getting so minus r by t into so you will get this one okay so this is for the only first one okay similar to this okay so we have to give for the second one instead of this source we will be having so v not u of t minus t not so so whatever we have given here so we need to give it here okay so answer for this one is v by r e power minus e power minus so same time constant r by l here and t minus t not here but you see source is not in the in the normal polarity here it's reversed so instead of that you will be giving this one okay so we have to give this so if you combine these two okay so this is i of t in second case this is in first case this is in second case if you add these two you will be getting so otherwise you can simplify this one also even more okay similar to this so you will be getting minus v by r okay e power minus r t by l and the same e power this one we can we can give it for another one okay so that is into so e power minus r t naught divided by l like this we can give okay so if you just add these two you will be getting i of t is equals to okay so i of t is equals to so you will be getting v by r into e power minus t by 2 t by 2 is nothing but this is l and in the numerator r okay so r t divided by l okay so r t divided by l into into so in this one okay so in this one we will be getting so remaining term okay so this is the remaining term so that is e power minus r t naught divided by l but you have minus terminal okay minus here and similarly in this one you will not be not be getting anything okay like this it is but you observe one thing so what we can do so this is the current ac current right okay so we can directly give it one as so minus also okay so current direction they have not mentioned so if you consider okay so in this direction current so then you will be getting this okay so anyhow answer for this question is v by r into e power minus rt by l this is minus if you consider here okay if you take the minus common 1 minus e power minus rt naught by l like this we can write down otherwise so if you consider the minus outside okay we can get okay so let's see the options so v by r e power minus rt by l into so e power minus rt uh, rt naught by l minus 1 okay so this is the answer this is the answer for this okay option 3 is the correct one okay so anyhow remaining options also similar right so we we may do some mistakes okay just observe we may do some mistakes so here there will not be any time term here okay so that's we need to observe okay so this is the final answer for this one okay so next question consider the circuit below with rp is equals to 5 ohms rp they have given as 5 ohms and this is 5 amperes of current source okay so what they have given it is equivalent to which one of the following following uh, they have asked equivalent circuit only they have given see here what they have given so this is transformed network they are asking okay so 5 whatever uh, 5 volts in series with some resistance with resistance value of 5 ohms okay let's convert this network y to y this is a simple transformation only 5 amperes in parallel with 5 ohms 
if you convert this network into this is not an equivalent network if you convert into thevenants you will be getting what is the voltage value voltage value will get as i into r that is nothing but 25 volts in series with 5 ohms resistance if you have this option directly that is the answer this is the 25 volts and r is to is nothing but okay 5 ohms they have given like that okay that is the answer okay so anyhow remaining options also this is one volt is not possible this is one ampere we, we cannot change like that directly so answer for this question is option three is the correct one okay next question consider a circuit below the voltage across the three ampere current source is three ampere current sources this is a three ampere current source they are asking voltage across this one okay so let's see the network if you see there are so many values are there in this one okay so two current sources and they are asking voltage across this one what we can do we can do nodal analysis so v1 v2 v3 three voltages we have to assume and if you get whatever v1 value you are getting that is the answer we can do like that otherwise superposition theorem we can do mesh analysis we can do or source transformation okay here current source is there we can transform into voltage source otherwise we can convert this delta network into star network or we can transform this star network into delta network somehow we have to get the voltage across this one so i will tell you some other method also for this one to get the voltage okay so whenever you have more than one current source it's better to use whenever you have more than one current source it's better to use mesh analysis you will get the answer very quickly okay so even though in mesh analysis also we have to solve using some equations right so i will suggest one method okay so this method will be useful for other problems also okay so you can solve using this method but you have to be practice okay first we have to practice once okay so i am assuming some current of x here some current of y here okay so some current x some current y i am just assuming so that means 3 amperes is incoming like this here and x is leaving so what is the remaining 3 minus x like this y current satisfied 3 minus x is incoming here y is leaving 7 is also leaving what is the remaining 3 minus x minus y minus 7 that much current is going in this okay and similarly in this element also x current is incoming y current is incoming so what is the current x plus y in this direction direction also important okay so what is the, what is the use of this method assuming the currents like this in each and every element you will get the voltage immediately okay so that means we can write down the equations easily okay so now whatever two equations okay you have only two variables you have only two variables whatever equation you take okay so you will get you need to get only two equations to solve okay first i am taking uh, this equation this mesh equation so i am writing from here okay so 3 minus x into 20 ohms plus 40y plus what is this one current is going in this direction so not plus it is minus okay so minus 10x equal to 0 this is first equation if you simplify this one okay so everywhere in all these things 0 is there so you will get as 6 minus 2x plus 4y minus x equal to 0 so in total you will get minus 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 this is the one you will get okay so first equation now second equation okay so can we write down in this one not possible because current source is there in this also not possible so only this equation we have to write down so i'm writing in the clockwise direction only as usual okay so i will write down as from here i'm writing so minus 40y plus 3 minus x minus y minus 7 okay so into 50 ohms okay so next minus x plus y into 30 ohms is equals to 0 okay so we need to simplify this one in everything 0 is also there okay so i'm just removing 0 so minus 4y plus 4 minus minus 7 3 total it is minus 4 okay so minus 4 so here you will get 
सो माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इज ईक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो इन टोटल यू विल बी गेटिंग ओके सो एक्स टर्म्स एक्स हियर एक्स हियर टोटल माइनस एट एक्स माइनस एट वाई एंड फोर वाई ओके सो माइनस ट्वेल्व वाई ओके सो इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी विल गो टू अदर साइड ट्वेंटी This is second equation. Okay, so we need to solve only these two equations. Very fast, you can get. Okay, so if you simplify first one and second one, okay. So let's simplify like this. Here twelve y is there. Here only four y is there. So if you if you want to simplify, what you have to do? Multiply this one with three. Okay, so minus nine x plus twelve y is equals to minus eighteen. Okay, so this is this is these are the two equations. Okay, so we need to Add okay, so this is nine and eight. Total it is seventeen, right? Minus seventeen x. Okay, so minus seventeen x, and these two will be cancelled. Is equals to only two. Okay, so two it is. Okay, so what is the x value? X value you will be getting. Okay, if you add a twenty minus eighteen, okay, so only two. Okay, so x equal to minus two by seventeen. In amperes, it is okay. So this is only x value, and if you substitute this x value in this equation, okay, so then you will be getting minus three into minus two by seventeen plus four y equal to minus six. Okay, so what you will be getting? So two into three, okay, six. It is plus six. Okay, so if it go to other side, minus six. Okay, so minus six, minus six. Minus six by seventeen is equals to four y. Okay, so minus uh, anyway you have to multiply. Okay, seventeen into five is uh, what is seventeen into six? So seventeen into six is one zero two. Okay, so one zero two. So this is one zero two minus one zero two minus six divided by seventeen is equals to four y. One zero two minus six or total minus one zero two minus six is nothing but minus one zero eight. Okay, so minus one zero eight divided by seventeen. Okay, so one zero eight divided by seventeen. Anyway, so this is two ones and two. Okay, so two ones and two fifty four cities. Okay, and two twos not two ones two two cities. So answer for this y is nothing but. Minus fifty four divided by thirty four. Okay, so for simple calculations, okay, so this also I will take in terms of seventeen only. Okay, so this also we can take in terms of seventeen only. So we can even simplify this one as y equal to so minus fifty uh, four means we will get as twenty seven. Okay, so minus twenty seven by seventeen. This is y value and this is x value. Let's write down these two. Okay, so x equal to Minus two by seventeen, y equal to minus twenty seven by seventeen. Only these two values we need. Okay, so whatever calculation we have did, so this is only to calculate the x and y values. Now what you have to do? So you need to calculate the voltage across this one. Okay, from here to here, what is the voltage? Directly. Okay, so voltage across three ampere current source is equals to 10 into x plus x plus y into 30. X plus y into 30. So it will be 10 plus 30 is 40x plus 30y. Okay, so let's simplify this one. 40 into x value is minus 2 by 17 plus 30 into okay, so minus 27 by 17. Okay, so if you simplify this one, so you will be getting. So answer directly. Okay, so this is minus 80 divided by 17 minus. Okay, so this is 30 into 27. 27 into 3 is 81. 81 into 81 and 10. Okay, so 810 divided by 17. So totally we'll be getting minus 890 divided by. Okay, so 890. Okay, so divided by 17. So if you solve this one, you will get a minus fifty-two point 
okay 52.35 volts you will get so direct calculation only okay so but minus it is okay so they have not mentioned what is the polarity of voltage okay so they have not mentioned so voltage across this one only they have asked answer for this is 52.35 that is the answer okay so option 2 is the correct one okay so like this all circuit problems we have completed so soon okay so one by one all other subjects also we will be uploading okay so please solve solve this networks as soon as possible okay so because in every exam at least 15 questions will be coming in this also we got 15 questions okay so like other subjects also network concepts are included so that i have not explained in this in other subjects we will be seeing about other questions okay so anyway we will give all the solution please follow us and if you need any any type of coaching for polytechnic lecturer or assistant engineer or any other gate examinations like that okay you can contact us okay thank you so much